and Walmart is Walmart as far as I'm concerned. Three. Shop should last us about three weeks. About $2.98 or so. I want to I've never seen it at $4.98. Oh, so with me there is but much higher. So I know now that I'm, I'm keeping it stored in a secure location. So I um, used to get these pretzels absolutely free. All of that literally comes from the farm to the consumer. Um, is a bottom feeder as well. You can buy the pack and slice these in half and make one or double. two. The rest will go, the duplicates will go in my current. With this puppy. All of that, my shrimp Get them there that I just got from the grocery store. So we are shopping in Walmart today and we decided to go to a different Walmart because everybody, and I mean even strangers, keep saying the Walmart that we go to by where we live in our small little town is the ghetto. So come to this Walmart, it's better. And Walmart is Walmart as far as I'm concerned. It's just another Walmart in a different state, maybe a little bit of a different layout, but Walmart is Walmart. So um, we're getting fruits and veggies right now this is what we got so far so we're gonna do some grocery shopping here and this grocery shop should last us about three weeks or so I want to say a month the first grocery shop I did when we first moved here lasted us over a month like this is my first time fully grocery shopping like I've been picking up little things uh, snacks and things like that that run out water cases of water and things like that but full grocery shopping lasted me a whole week and I spent about a little over five hundred dollars i'm not spending five hundred dollars today um hopefully my budget can stay under 350 400 max but 350 would be really good um and so we'll see what happens and this should last us about three weeks even though our grocery budget when we were in seattle ranged about 600 to 700 a month and you know food prices have gone up so we're gonna see what we can do here in the good state of Arkansas for $350. We'll be back. And the girls went over there <laughs> to get something that they saw that they wanted. So we'll wait for them to return. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys some of these price differences. So here we have, I think that, no, that's actually in the right place. It says sh shredded lettuce, 16 ounce. No, that's in the wrong place. This is an eight ounce whatever this is i guess it's the bigger pack probably because these are $1.98 but two dollars for an eight ounce pack of shredded lettuce i said when the panorama was happening that i was not affected or i did not see the effects of the pricing changes however i am definitely seeing it we buy this type of uh salad this bag size often it says $4.98 and it's for the large bag, which is the 18 ounce. And in Washington, and you know it's one of the most expensive places to live, it runs about $2.98. I've never seen it at $4.98. So if it's $4.98 here, I can almost promise you that it's $4.98 in Washington. Um, but we usually get this type and we get the larger size. Um, so yeah, I am seeing now the smaller bag is $2.98 and the larger bag is $4.98. There is definitely uh, inflation happening as we already knew and the prices are definitely changing and I am seeing it in real time for the first time. I was even talking to my husband yesterday about just a regular 20 ounce or 16 ounce soda where it used to be $1.98 and now we're seeing soda at $2.28. Coke product, single bottle, $2.08. Pepsi product, $2.28. I remember paying a dollar, a dollar eighteen for soda not too long ago. And we're at almost two, almost two and a half dollars for a soda. We'll check out the meat prices next. Okay, you guys, I've wanted to try these Olipop. I always thought it was called Lollipop. What's it not called Lollipop? Is this the right brand? I always see like, you know that TikToker that cooks for her sister and she's always doing Yeah, like, but I thought it was Lollipop, but I guess oh. it's not, it's Olipop. So um, they have them here, they're two thirty eight dollars each. We're gonna try them. And I wanted to try the Dr. Pepper one. That's the one I see and people say it actually tastes like Dr. Pepper, but everybody's taste buds are different. So we're gonna try the what flavor? Classic root beer. It's 
vegan and paleo. And it is vegan and paleo. And then we're gonna try the lemon lime, a new kind of soda. So that would be like, I guess their Sprite version. And they also have tropical punch. I wouldn't mind trying that and strawberry vanilla. But I'm gonna wait and see how these taste before I go all out. Um, trying the other types. You wanna get cream soda? <laughs> she said it's healthier, so she's gonna get the other one. I don't think it's cream soda, ain't it root beer? Oh, it is root beer. I keep thinking it's cream soda. Nope, no cream soda. Tropical Punch, strawberry, vanilla, and lemon lime. Well, you can try some of ours. My youngest, she does not drink soda, right? Because she's healthy. Smart girl. Um, and so we'll just share and try it together. Okay, you guys, I know for a fact 442 is not the original price in Washington. And I keep comparing Washington because that's where I just moved from. Um, and also the cost of living there is much higher. So I know that the pricing should be less here simply because we're in the South. We're in a lower paying state. Um, these pancakes are normally 348, 398. I would have to have my husband here to give me the exact because um, he knows for sure. But 442 is not the normal price. If anybody can tell me down in the comments, if the pricing is higher here, am I missing something in the South? Why it would be higher here. And I can't remember the pricing from Washington um, like the very last time I bought any cause I didn't buy any recently. But every time we would buy them, we would buy the big pack and they would be 398, 348 for the big pack. So I'm a bit surprised at this 440. Okay, so we just saw someone grocery shopping on YouTube and they got the Sonic Tots. Now, I did not see these at the Walmart that's closer to our house. And like I said, today we traveled a few extra miles. Y'all hear me? A few to come to a different Walmart location. And I was a little bit disappointed in the Walmart that we have been going to anyway, because I went there to get bread right about before the 4th of July. And the bread was all expired. And it was the 3rd of July or the 2nd of July. And the bread expired on the 1st. All the bread on the shelf said expires July 1st. I don't want to buy expired foods from a store that should have the proper dates on their on their products. So we're gonna try these Sonic Tater Tots and see if they indeed taste like Sonic Tater Tots. Okay, friends, we're gonna grab some garlic cheese toast and the price difference. So Texas toast, New York Texas toast is, 292 the great value brand 244 so for $0.50 different you can get a name brand does it taste different it has eight slices in both um, oh actually that's the regular so the cheese Texas toast or yes New York New York Texas toast that's funny is 372 for eight slices for the cheese and 244 for the great value brand so there's a significant price difference i was looking at the buttered garlic just the regular garlic but let's see how much the great value garlic bread is okay so 292 224 so there's a six 70 or so cents, 72 cents difference in the brand and the nun brand. But we're just gonna grab the cheese, garlic Texas toast. I don't like to get the first one, but I can't reach back there any further. So we're gonna get this one and add it to our cart. So in a video or two or three, or seven. You've seen me eating these uh, M&M's. They are 478. So I will not be getting them today because I'm used to paying around 378. So there's a dollar difference um, in those M&M's, and I don't need them anyway. We're trying to make healthier decisions, although we're also trying to live and eat <laughs> on a budget. Like it's it's a challenge. Or it can be a challenge. Um, so I'm not a proponent of telling you to eat unhealthy. 
don't use my card as, as an example of what you should or shouldn't buy. Um, but you know, you feed your family what you think is best for your family. And sometimes that means getting things that you would not normally get um, if you're working on a budget. Okay, so I'm gonna get two cans of the baked beans and these are gonna be uh, in going towards our stockpile. So for those of you who don't know, I'm having to start my stockpile from scratch here. I still have my stockpile in Washington State. I'm gonna have it shipped, I think, but for now I'm, get, I'm keeping it stored in a secure location. Um, but we are adding these two cans of baked beans, which are $1.98 each to the stockpile. I'm also gonna get one can of Rotel for $1.32 and we're gonna add that to the stockpile as well. The goal is always to add as you go what you can. So this is a separate budget from my actual grocery shopping. So if my budget is 350, I may spend an additional 25 to $40, just depending um, on my stockpile. And I am in kind of a crunch situation where I need to rebuild quickly. Um, but when you're adding to your stockpile and you have your regular grocery budget if your grocery budget is hundred dollars if you can add an extra twenty dollars or even an extra ten dollars as i've talked about in previous videos that is more than um enough to start building it's better to have something in reserve than to have nothing at all so start where you can okay you guys see these soft or super pretzels here they're 2.98 there's a video on my page from way 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 back years ago when I was YouTubing and couponing, um, and it's on my other YouTube page actually, where I share um, now business um, growth and marketing tips and how to make money online. But before I got into that, I was a couponer. And I used to have coupons all the time for these pretzels um, from the Dollar Tree. And the pretzels were 50 cent off, sometimes a dollar off. And this is when the Dollar Tree was still just a dollar. So I used to get these pretzels absolutely free and they are $2.98 here in the store. My, my, how times have changed. So you guys, I got this Red Baron four meat pizza. They have this at Little Caesar and I think it here, it's $12 and some change with tax to get the meat trio pizza. This is $4.98 here in the store and you can cook it at home. Is it healthy either way? Not necessarily, but it's a better deal always when you eat from home. Unless, of course, you're in Thailand. <laughs> the norm in Thailand is to go out and eat every day. Um, and you purchase your food daily and it's cheaper. Um, we could live as a family of four in Thailand for about $1,000 a month, including rent and transportation to and from. And they have a system called Grab. It's much like Uber. I think Uber actually owns it. Um, and you get a grab on the app, go where you want to go, go to the store. Going grocery shopping is more expensive in Thailand. Um, of course, most of everything you get there, fruit, all of that literally comes from the farm to the consumer um, when you buy it out on the street, which is called street food. But in America, of course, grocery shopping is the norm and it costs you more to eat out every day. But just some differences between the countries from living in Thailand to um, living and shopping and eating in the US. Okay, y'all, for whatever reason lately, I'm on a shrimp kick, which I don't eat a lot of seafood because it makes me sick if I have it in large quantities. For whatever reason, it just doesn't agree with my stomach. Um, I haven't e eaten tilapia in years. I stopped eating it. Um, it's actually a pretty dirty fish, but don't come for me in the comments. Eat what you like. Um, this is dirty as well, I'm aware and it raises your cholesterol. <laughs> However, I have a dish that I make um, and it's actually really good with Brussels sprouts on the side um, and lemon pepper and garlic. So it turns out really well. So we're gonna get this for $5.42, 46 cents for the medium size. Okay, you guys, I'm going to get some catfish because my daughter loves catfish. That's the only thing that she was excited about coming back to the US for was catfish. Um, the fillets are $16.88. This was not a part of my budget. However, she's a very picky eater and I want her to eat. So I'm going to get that. And I'm also going to get a pack of salmon. Although this is the better one um, as far as the dyes and stuff, $23.94. 
I can't. Um, I think this is the one I bought last time and it was okay. You could tell the difference in the chew quality. Like it was more chewy, not chewy, but you know, it was not as, mm, I don't know how to describe it, silky. Um, and this one has the skin on it and I don't want to do that fight. Sorry, I don't want to do that fight. So I'm going to get this one and I'm going to go ahead and get the fish fillets. These are the fish nuggets. They're $5.94 actually. The fillets are $16.88. So maybe I will do the nuggets. That's a big price difference. And they're pretty big pieces to be nuggets. So we're going to double check the price when we get to the front. I don't want the one in the front. And catfish, I'm very aware, is not is a bottom feeder as well. We're eating to live, not living to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bag of salmon here as well. And uh, this starts our meat journey. So we got salmon, catfish, and shrimp. Okay, I bought some of these prepackaged meats um, the last time and we still have nuggets and chicken strips in the freeze, freezer which are quick things for the girls they're teenagers um but we are cooking with gas in the south and that's something they're not used to they're used to electric although the oven is electric the stove is gas have y'all ever seen that a gas stove top but an electric oven it was completely absolutely new to me so uh that's what we're working with so they're learning how to use um both but I get quick things like this so they can make themselves something to eat. I work night shift. I'm actually starting a new job tomorrow. Um, and I'm excited about that. It's gonna be much easier than the nursing home and less wear and tear on my body. So I'm really excited about that. And I want them to have things that they can eat because it will be another week before my husband gets here. He'll be here next weekend. And I'm so excited he's coming home to his. Now I did promise I would show you guys the meat. Uh, pricing i we don't buy beef in our house we don't eat beef now if we go out to like a restaurant or something we will get beef my youngest she stopped eating beef my oldest she'll eat it every now and again me i'll eat it every now and again my husband does not eat beef at all he's never eaten beef since i met him the only time he does eat beef if he eats it even though he doesn't eat it <laughs> is if we go to what a burger in texas that was the first time i've said it that way i call it what a burger water burger whatever it's what a burger in texas he will eat a beef uh patty melt from there but that's every blue moon uh actually i don't know what the term blue moon means i guess every now and again i've never seen a blue moon but anyway um squirrel but these are some of the pricings on the beef i don't know what kind of beef people eat these days um this is some more seafood um but this is a pack of four Angus one third pound beef steak burgers for $8.48. That seems expensive to me. I don't know. It says Angus. Maybe that's a good thing. We have beef chuck roast. Now, I love a good pot roast, y'all. But I buy pork pot roast. But nobody in my family eats pork either. We don't eat pork in our house. Um, I used to love pork chops. Um, but I don't eat them anymore. Can you push your cart? So, um here is ground beef chuck carne i guess that's just the spanish term and it's 11.83 um this is a small pack if i really wanted to get it and make a burger this is probably what i would get but again i don't and it's 5.92 um i think this is pork oh no this is still beef this is lean ground beef and it's 15.84 I think that's expensive. I don't know. Again, we don't eat beef in our house. We don't buy it. Um, and we don't do pork at all. Nobody eats pork. I stopped eating pork chops because they gave me a headache all the time after I would eat them and made me feel really sick um, after my second child. So I stopped eating pork. Um, but these are some of the pricings for, here's a ribeye steak, $17.61. It looks like a nice cut, not too much fat, but I don't know if that's a good price or not. Again, uh, here's some Angus beef. This is a rump roast. Now this right here is a good cut of meat. Um, again, I love pot roast. I usually eat a pork pot roast, but I don't cook it again because nobody in my family eats it and I don't care for the beef roast. Um, is that trout, trite or whatever they call it? Beef trip, beef, beef tri trite. I don't eat that, but that's something my grandma probably would have ate. <laughs> Um, here's some beef stew meat. 
um again i'm not really big on the beef cuts they just are tough to me or either i'm not cooking them long enough but nobody eats beef in my house so i don't buy it but i used to buy this back in the day when i was a single person in my own home and i bought it a couple times and cooked it and it wasn't too too good because it was tough uh 6.98 for that let's see here's some of the pork options pork tenderloin this is really good when it's seasoned you could just throw it in and cook it um 704 it's not my favorite uh when i was eating pork but it's good okay look we have ribs here's a slab of ribs and it is barbecue seasoned pork back ribs 1408 not sure how good of a price that is for that but that's what we're looking at on the meat prices and i think the meat prices should be a little bit cheaper here because we have tyson chicken uh home of the home of tyson chicken here in arkansas here is some thin pork chops these are the kind i used to buy 562 i would pay 562 for that no problem um i used to buy the bone in but i really like um boneless meat um so there's just some pricing um here's the pork roast that looks like it has a lot of fat on it which is good for seasoning um and that's looks like 247 a pound so this is for no it is a dollar 94 a pound weighing in at 4.25 pounds for 825 i think this is a good price for this pork loin if you want to make you a good roast some carrots some onions some potatoes some seasoning that's a good meal for a couple of days depending on how big your family is and they have them in different sizes so that's a little bit of what the meat prices are looking like here we're going to go down and look at the chicken okay this is our section ground turkey so i was in walmart yesterday the one we normally go to and these uh ground turkey prices 9.96 for this pack this is about what it was in washington when i left four weeks ago um and moved to our new state so it was probably a little less than this or right at it but we also have the lean and this is going to be 11.96 for the lean and this 85 percent for 9.96 and i don't mind either one i think i actually prefer this one even though i think we buy this one more often but we don't eat a lot of ground turkey but i like to we we used to eat a lot of it but my daughter I think she got burnt out because we here put that in the cart we would make tacos quite a bit at the very end um we'd make tacos quite a bit and she got burnt out on it um and so she doesn't eat it as much but i bought some spicy taki taco shells and they really liked those the other week so we're gonna try that again and again i like to have meat on hand because you can always whip up a can of vegetables or run to the dollar tree and get a can of vegetables or rice or a side but stocking up on your meat is important once we move um to our home out of the temporary um extended stay that we're in right now we um i want to get a deep freezer a uh, freezer chest whatever you call it where you're at and um stock up on meat but um for now just having it on hand and i did really good in my last grocery shop because i had a lot of um meat still left in the freezer so i was really proud of myself. these are turkey cutlets could not find these in washington over the last several months to save anything and um these are really good this this gives me my pork chop feel without the pork so i can use and tell me do you have these where you are comment down below do you have these turkey breast cutlets um they're sliced pieces of turkey meat and you can see they're they're kind of pricey i remember paying five dollars um or a little over five dollars a pack for these back in the day but they are definitely um a, a, a bit pricey but i'm willing to pay the price for them because i really like it it's a quick meal um you fry them up put them in the skillet season them a little flour fry them up and um add your sides rice or whatever i'm really in love with this pack for some reason it's pretty heavy but it still only has four pieces but they're probably four big pieces and this is for 10.57 this one is for 921. I think I'm gonna go with the 1057 pack just so I'm happy. Um, so we're gonna get this one. Okay, friends, I'm gonna get some chicken strips. Now they do have the chicken breast, but I don't care for them because they take too long to cook. But the good thing about these, you can buy this pack and slice these in half and make double whatever's in the pack. And these are 1151 for this pack. Um, this one is 
12.58. I just don't like to cook them uh, when it comes to frying because it just takes too much energy. It takes too long to cook. So we're gonna go with the chicken strips, which are quicker and easier for me to bread and to cook. And I'm gonna get two packs. These are 6.86. And we'll do the 7.47. That looks pretty, pretty uh, hefty pack. Okay, you guys, seasonings are going up in price. I think I had a video where I got these for 98 cents in Seattle. Um, they're $1.12 here, but they have a good variety. I did have to dig deep um, for the different types that they have. And um, they have a good variety. They even have garlic salt. So I only buy garlic powder. I don't use garlic salt because it's salty. Um, and most every season has salt in it already, but they do have some garlic salt and I just got a few um, And these are for my stockpile all except for one or two the rest will go the duplicates will go in my current use and the um, Other ones will go in my stockpile for rebuilding the stockpile at a dollar twelve each because I see now the prices are going up and I just want to make sure I'm prepared. You guys know I'm really big on having seasonings for your food. Okay, you guys. $4.98 for lunch meat. Should be able to take my lunch to work. It's still cheaper than eating out every day. But $5 for this small pack of lunch meat is wild. I must say. Um, but what do you do? <laughs> you're going to either eat out. You're not going to eat at all. Or... You're gonna pack your lunch and take it. You have to kind of pick your heart, right? Okay, you guys, so we made it to the bacon aisle. Now this is gonna be one of the aisles that if you can stock up or even just get one extra item off of, you want to be able to do. So they have the bacon soda here for 72 cents. Something about a lower price just gets me, even though it's a smaller box. Again, this is for my stockpile, so I buy it as I can. And this is 98 cents, this is the box I would normally get. I have some in Washington that's this size. Um, Y'all saw it in the video when it blew up in my face. Yeah, go back and watch that if you haven't. But I just grabbed two of the 72 cent uh, boxes. And then we have flour here. I don't know that I've seen these small packages of flour and sugar and salt and all the things. And I got the sugar up here. We went ahead and got one of those right there. Um, I really want to get one of these small things of flour. I have a big one that I'm using right now to cook with at home, but just to have, and this is good till January, 2025, because this is the kind of stuff you're not going to be able to get your hands on. We're having a wheat issue. We're having a farming issue in general. Um, and so baked goods so that you can make bread and things like that. Cornstarch, which that 182 is a really good price for that cornstarch, but I'm not going to get that today. I do have cornstarch in Washington um so it doesn't help me here but um baking powder and you can see the shelves are even empty in some places um and you can see how the flour here has been picked through i do have flour that i'm working with right now from home so again this little one that i'm getting would just be an extra for my stockpile um but these are definitely things the active yeast here is empty they have some up here i do have active yeast um and the fast rising yeast um in seattle but i am gonna go ahead and grab um one pack of the active dry yeast for 86 cents so that i have this not that i'm a bread maker but that is something that you may have to do um so i'm gonna take it and have it on hand chocolate chips these are great things that you can use if you need to bake you want a sweet treat um, these are just, this is just the aisle you want to come to. And if you can possibly, um, uh, pick up just one item, there's coconut milk, there's goat milk, there's powdered milk. Um, we're not a big milk drinking family, but if you are cooking or making things, macaroni and cheese, some pastas, um, even cereal, you want to have these things on hand. So these are things that you want to grab. And I've never seen this in this container before. This is condensed milk, y'all. Look at that. Have you guys seen this where you live? Comment below and let me know if you've ever seen this packet. Interesting that they packaged it like that. 
but yeah this is the aisle to come to um to stock up on those extras um we do have vinegar and i am going to get vinegar today because i don't have any i have this two of these in washington and i think my husband started using one um i think i did buy a small thing of vinegar last time apple cider vinegar and we used it to get rid of some of these flies the flies are terrible this year at least here in the south so i'm going to get one white vinegar um to have on hand and i'm going to go ahead and get an apple cider vinegar because i use this to clean my fruit um and we did get some apples and plums and things like that today so i am going to get both of these 232 for the apple cider vinegar and 138 for the regular white distilled vinegar that apple cider vinegar price is a little more than i normally would pay but what do you do and in the future i will be back to get a bigger size of the apple cider vinegar because it's good to have it on hand for medicinal purposes as well as the baking soda for medicinal purposes as well um so we're grabbing those and this is something i thought about and i was telling my kids the other day having these types of things on hand to cook instead of buying all the processed cookies um making your own things in the oven even though it's not the healthiest um it's still better to have these on hand if you want a sweet treat some brownies some cake something like that and i used to buy them all the time and i don't know how I got away from it, but um, I'm gonna grab a couple things today just so we can have, um, not necessarily for stockpile, but for um, just having on hand. And then I don't have to buy as many cookies and cupcakes that are, you know, the processed sugars, the already made stuff. And my daughter has already remembered what I said because she's already gotten cake and icing. So let's see what else I can find. Okay, you guys, so <laughs> this is another one of those eyes. And I don't know what's going on with the oil. When I bought mine, it was, bent in like that as well i don't know what they have going on um with the oils but 924 not my norm in pricing i do have a big container like this at home that i'm already working with so i'm going to get a vegetable oil and i'm really reluctant to do this for 384 i just cannot fathom paying 384 for oil but uh, I may wait, I may wait. Cause I do have a big one like this already at home and it's barely been used. Cause when I fry, I don't use a lot of oil now and I haven't used as much, even though I fried a couple of times. Um, so I'm gonna wait on that oil. I just cannot fathom that pricing, but I am gonna grab a couple of cornbread mixes and some fish fry for my daughter's fish. Um, and we normally use this one, it's $1.98. And seeing what else they have. They have the New Orleans style fish fry. And then this is the classic fry. And this is specifically for fish, so I'm gonna do this one. And every now and again, every now and again, you will catch me making a Jiffy cornbread mix. I see they have the vegetarian. I'm gonna try that. And my daughter already got a Jiffy mix because she likes to eat the Jiffy cornbread. Um, and I make Brussels sprouts, Jiffy cornbread. And I know people, some people don't like sweet cornbread. It's okay. Um, and I'm not a big cornbread person. I'm not a big bread eater, but um, Every now and again, I have a certain dish that I'll make and I'll make a Jiffy cornbread mix. And I'm actually gonna get two to fill out the pan um, because usually the pan is square. So we have enough to make the bread even. And I'm looking for some cornbread mixes. My husband does like cornbread and I don't make bread from scratch. Um, and I don't really see Martha is usually, that's the one my grandma used to get. So I'm just gonna grab this one. It's buttermilk and we'll get this one and it is 112, that's a good price. And this is a good stock up item hey as guys, well. Just wanted to show you really quick. We have lard here for 348 and then we have Crisco. This is a really good stock up item. I have a small can in Washington and I do not believe I paid 438 for it. Um, oh, I do need to get some cooking spray because I did not have any, and we're gonna go with 
extra virgin olive oil it burns very quickly i'm looking for avocado spray they have it for 518 not a fan of that price um yeah and i'm i'm noticing now the background music here in walmart which i cannot have in my video for copyright reasons so extra editing work again <laughs> i said that in a previous video and i'm just now realizing the music is playing um so i have to probably add music to this so if you hear annoying music uh or music that doesn't seem like it goes in this video <laughs> it's because i'm having to cover up the background music that is playing um here in walmart the life of youtubers this is what we have to deal with <laughs> there's some shortening for 518 i think that's a really good price for that shortening um you have the crisco um individual sticks at seven dollars i think that's a little pricey but if you're a baker it's probably a good price and then we have the lard down here that is a better price to me for twenty dollars for that one 63 for the big one and then we have the extra virgin olive oils and the avocado oils over here um but today oh and my husband did tell me to grab yes my husband still um heads his household from another state true christian man love him love him love him um he did tell me to grab some olive oil um so that we can pray over it for the house which i'll just grab this one for 346 and um i told him last time i did forget to do it um but i would make sure i got some and it just dawned on me when i just looked at it so <laughs> thank you jesus for memory uh because i would have forgot it again but i'm just gonna get the cooking spray i'm just gonna grab the canola oil um for our skillets and we have to be careful with this again because we are cooking with gas and just so you guys can see there are some g clarified butter and um coconut oil coconut aminos for flavoring there's some more avocado oil chosen i see a lot of people buy that brand i hear it's good i've never tried it um we got duck fat spray duck fat here um so you do have alternatives more coconut oil mustard seed oil now this is the first time i've seen this 948 naturally spicy so so naturally spicy oil and why are the tops not on these products they're not sealed properly or tightly so it says naturally spicy that's interesting so i'm gonna be wrapping up my shopping trip here i will catch you guys once i am on to the next store i think i'm gonna make a stop at kroger my daughter has another job interview today so we'll see how far i make it um into getting to my next grocery store i like to get all my grocery store shopping done in one trip if possible um because grocery shopping used to be my thing especially when i was a couponer but it is not my favorite thing nowadays so <laughs> i like to get in and get out and i'm actually gonna have to buy some mayonnaise because like i said my husband will be here in a couple weeks um so i need to get mayonnaise for him um so i'm gonna do that as well okay i'll see you guys um in the next clip hey friends okay i made it home and i just want to show you really quick because i have to run out and take my daughter to her job interview so i'm doing this really fast but this is my working pantry um she's trying to get the puppy put up and he is giving her a run for her money um as you know i've probably said it in previous videos uh we're staying in an extended stay um we moved to a new state about four weeks ago and this is the cabin cabinet space that i have to work with um so this is what we bought today i had most of this already pretty much everything here i had already i already had this bacon soda everything up here except for the frosting and the uh coconut rice and the cornbread mix i already had this is all new from today's grocery shopping um fudge brownie mix grits granola bars jiffy fish fry the zebra cakes and the cereal that's all new um this is our snack corner or quick grab corner my seasonings that I'm already using, I just added another garlic powder because I use that very frequently. And I added um, Italian seasoning because I do use that in a few dishes. This is my rebuild of my pantry. So this is not pantry. That's my daughter's. It's just the space I had to put it in. But this is my water stockpile that I'm redoing. 
um and then sugar i got two of the baking sodas you saw that in the earlier in the video two cans of the baked beans more seasonings here um that's my flour and sugar because we don't use sugar often so it's in the stockpile here is our rotel that i got today and there's a few canned goods if you can see back there and that's all stuff that i bought last time i went grocery shopping here's my beans here's potatoes my fire starters that i got here i have some of these uh five of these in washington i have some varieties of tuna uh there's my active yeast that i just got um and i have a couple bags of beans uh up there so definitely need to get and i have some canned beans of course i need to get more stuff to rebuild the stockpile but that's where we're at so far on the stockpile and this is my working stuff let me show you my freezer i can't even close my cabinet because of those noodles up there but i have nowhere else to put them right now so they'll have to do that's that and this is not my refrigerator i've cleaned it multiple times it's not the cleanest um it just needs to be replaced at this point but this is what we're dealing with in our extended stay she is putting the puppy away and he is not having it and he is in the biting stage they're looking at you prince they're watching how you act. Hey. Yes, that's Mr. Okay. Pay. This is the freezer. So y'all, by the grace and mercy of God, I got this stuff in here. This is the catfish that I got today. These are the Sonic Terrier tater tots. These are the French fries, my daughter's pastas, frozen foods. It goes all the way to the back, as you can see. Um, and yes, yeah, she is still wrestling with this puppy. Get him, Jayla, and put him up. We gotta go. Onion rings, um, quick meal snacks. It goes deep all the way back. Um, there's all my chicken stuff there. My pizza that I got is in the corner, if you can see that. Uh, and my fish and salmon and all of that. My shrimp is back there that I just got from the grocery store. And Lord, help me. By the grace of God, I got everything in here. Let me show you the refrigerator and that'll be I did have uh, these loaves of bread and hot dog buns that I did buy, so I don't want to And this those. is just some extra stuff that we had that the kids already opened. Um, so there's that. Okay, so here's the fridge. I'm gonna take these with me because I have not eaten all day and I'm gonna wait in the car for my daughter to finish her interview. And this is everything. I don't use those drawers down there even though they were cleaned and bleached. I just put everything up top. This is my fruit. I'm gonna do another video and show you guys how I wash my fruit and what I use to clean off the extra wax. And if you haven't heard, um, there's a thing in California, uh, Bill Gates, where he talks about a peel, A-P-E-E-L, and it's a substance that they are putting on all of the foods. Um, and it's a wax apparently that you won't be able to wash off. So if I can say anything else about stockpiling and preparing, it is to get seeds. Get seeds, get seeds, get seeds. And this is everything that we have in the refrigerator. All right, you guys, Prince wants to make his debut. So we're gonna go. Until next time, trust God and lead with love. Bye for now. Yes, I changed clothes because it is hot as a Georgia pine outside. Prince, Prince, Prince. We all know you here. Bye, y'all.